Okay, this is the pump failure power outage scenario. So uh, our student will get a history about of brainstorms and blackouts um, and brownouts occurring. Um, after I brief her, I'll actually wander over and notice some alleged smoke coming from the pump, and I'll actually just trip the power uh, source right there and turn it off, at which time you'll make the patient decompensate, and we'll just be waiting for our, our student to recognize um, that the pump won't come back on, and it's related to hand crank. Okay. Okay, you have a one-month-old with H1N1 pneumonia and myocarditis. There are heavy rain and winds due to a storm. Multiple power surges have been disrupting your shift. A brief blackout has just occurred. I'm actually going to stay in this scenario to be available as your nurse. Okay. And you also have a set of labs that just came back. All right, let me take a look at these labs since I just got in here. Looks all right. We'll just assess the circuit. Oh, baby's deciding. Oh, there's no flow in the transonic oh. glucobin. Pumps off. Are you sure? Are you I'm sure going to go restart this pump. You know what? I there's smoke it. coming from the back of the pump. Oh. This pump won't come back on. Let's get this patient off. That won't snap them off. Okay. Pumping arterial. Okay. Pumping venous. Emergency vent settings. Okay, I'm going to... Pumping echo MV and the RTPs. Emergency vent settings here. Uh, I'm going to... Start okay. the hand crank as soon as I get this popped over. Okay, we're going to send someone to go pick up the spare pump from the storage unit, please. Okay, emergency settings, and we're on 100%. Well, heart, rate's, heart rate's 59. Okay, we're ready to go back on. We're ready to go back on? Okay. Check the cannulas for air. Okay, they look good for open air. Open venous. Okay, venous open. Unclamp the arterial. Arterial open. Okay, we're back on. Back, back on air. air. Okay, heart rate's still 50s. Um, I'm going to prepare for a test impressions. Okay, wait. I'm going to hold. Heart rate's coming up. Venus sats are coming up. They're okay, still in emergency vent settings. RPMs are about the same as they were before. Okay. Pressure looks good. Venus sats are coming up. Arterial sats getting better. Okay, we'll just wait until the other spare console comes up from the storage unit. Okay. And we'll switch over. Okay. At least we've stabilized. Yep. Okay, nice job. Uh, you recognized right away that the patient was unstable and that it was real and uh, clued in that it was actually the pump that had failed and would not come back on. Um, you communicated well and you took the patient off ECMO and had your nurse assist you. Um, and put the patient on emergency vent settings and got extra help. Um, it's a lot that was required there, and the communication was key. How do you feel? Yeah, that? you're right. That's a stressful scenario, and I think that we did pretty good communication. It certainly is the, the key to getting on the hand crank and getting back on it more quickly. And that requires a real uh, dexterous technical skill. How do you feel uh, confident in your skill um, with that? I feel that's something you should practice all the time. It's getting switching over to the hand crank in, so... Kind of cumbersome and it's not doesn't always fit perfectly so it's good to practice.